we're here in front of the Greek Parliament where a very large crowd is gathering uh, in anticipation of a second vote on the prior actions required by the creditors of Greece uh, pursuant to the July 13th uh, agreement with uh, Greece's creditors. We've been trying to get people to come on the, go on the record and speak to us about why they're out here and uh, we're being met with a, uh, a wall of silence uh, and I just asked somebody uh, off the record why people are so reluctant here to speak to the uh, to a journalist and they uh, they uh, brought to my attention a Greek saying one that was figured very prominently during the protest that led up to the Oki vote uh, in the July 5th referendum I'm not going to repeat it because it was full of expletives but basically what she told me is uh, the journalists in this country have lost all respect of the populace and uh, the protesters simply have no interest in speaking to them uh, which is unfortunate uh, but I think is really telling in terms of uh, the quite uh, uh, negative role that the media in this country have played in, uh, in the crisis and the descent of Greece into the, uh, the current uh, quagmire. And uh, we wanted to talk to people, the young people here who came out tonight because 80% of Greece's youth, a very, very high percentage of the youth of Greece voted Oki yeah. in the July 5th referendum. And uh, we're wondering if you could explain to us what motivated so many young people of Greece to say uh, no to the, uh, the ultimatum that was put to Greece by the Troika? Uh, I think they wanted change and for since a long time since the, uh, Greece joined the EU, they've always been uh, under pressure and haven't always benefited the best things uh, as opposed to France and other countries and they wanted change and as now is uh, Greece is in a heavy recession, they, uh, they want to get out of the EU so that they can continue with their own economy and because ultimately the euro isn't a very good currency for them. And uh, I just think that the young people in Greece don't find anything uh, compelling in the European Union for uh, their life and their jobs and their money and they they just think that being alone is better. It's been a choice. If you had to choose between the terms that uh, Prime Minister Tsipras agreed to on July 13th and leaving the Eurozone, if you had to ha make that choice, what would you choose? Uh, I'd leave the Eurozone. Yeah, me too. And you don't have any uh, real concerns about what the consequences of that would be for the Greek economy? Uh, on the short on the short term it won't be very good but on the longer term it will be much more beneficial than if you'd stay with the EU is that a view you share yes thank you very much I appreciate yeah, it. thank you you know during the the Ochi vote the referendum the leaders of Europe they said repeatedly that if the Greek people voted Ochi uh, that meant that Greece would have to leave the euro 61 percent yes voted Ochi. that's right so and they said that if they voted Ochi they would have to leave the eurozone uh, if you had to choose between leaving the Eurozone and the austerity that uh, the Prime Minister has agreed to, what would you choose? Of course, leaving the Eurozone. We don't... We don't... We don't you would leave. Yes, And you, course. sir? Yes. We want to leave the fucking Eurozone. Okay? Yeah. We don't want any more Eurozone. And what do you think would happen if, uh, if, if Greece left the Eurozone? They, 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 they have to have a second plan, a, a plan B, because a plan B exists, but they, they, they are not willing to, 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 to announce this plan B to the people. And why, you do, know? You, why do you think they're not willing? Because uh, they, they are part of the system. And they, 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 they said to us fucking lies mm -hmm. in agree? order to vote them. And do you agree that uh, they misled uh, the Greek people? Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Do you think that that's true of all the MPs in Syriza? Do you think the, the, the people on the left wing of Syriza, that they also lied? Or do you think that they are... We can't trust no one anymore. This deal is a... For us, it's a, it's a blackmail. It's going to bring us back a, very many years. And uh, it's not good for us. Uh, we have uh, a lot of measures of economy that is going to destroy our economy. It's not going to be a progress, you know, to our debt. Our debt is going to be up. Mm -hmm. Our, HDB, our GDP, GDP is going to be 
more lower. So our debt is going to be more growing. Do you think that uh, the government has explained to the people what this new deal means? Do you no, think they've the, done a good the job? The government has uh, betrayed uh, the Greek people because uh, when we have the, the, I don't know the word about the, sorry. Uh, the referendum? The referendum. Mm -hmm. uh, the, all the people said no to this agreement. And mm -hmm. uh, then the government uh, go and uh, it was like uh, we vote yes. So if you had to choose between the two, you would choose leaving the Eurozone? Yes, yes, yes. But uh, leaving the Eurozone without an agreement. Yes. Because if I leave Euro Eurozone with an agreement for the debt, then I will have uh, more worse things than this. I have to explain to my loaners that uh, the money in Greece was spent not only for the people, was spent only in uh, corruption, it was spent for, uh, for uh, companies, for money, it's all like this. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I'm Anastasia from Greece. And I'm Benny Kuchina from Germany. Because we don't believe in austerity measures. I mean, we've done this for five years and uh, it's pointless. Uh, more austerity will bring more austerity and uh, that's why we're here to protest against the new austerity measures that we're going to be voted today. I think the austerity is not the solution. So uh, it makes worse and worse and worse and the most people in weeks just suffer because of the politics. So. In the days before the referendum, Chancellor Merkel and uh, François Hollande, Jean-Claude Juncker, they all said that if Greece voted no, they would have to leave the Eurozone. Uh, if you were put to that choice, what would you choose? If you had to choose the austerity regime that Prime Minister Tsipras has agreed to or leaving the Eurozone, what would you choose? I think I would choose uh, to, leave, uh, European, uh, to leave the EU, EU to have a Brexit because uh, with uh, the politics, of, it's, the politics of Germany is imperialistic for me, and um, yes, I think the European Union must be updated. Now it's. I think it's shit. Uh, I think that this European Union has a huge democracy deficiency. So, if if it was in my personal choice, I would have chose to to leave Eurozone. But at this point, it was that this is why there was a coup. This was the uh, the World Trade uh, hashtag because uh, this government was put in, at the can point to to vote for these austerity measures to stay in Eurozone because at this particular moment. Moment, our banks were closed, we were out of money, uh, and I, we couldn't do that. It would be the plan B, but it would be like uh, either you, you shoot yourself, you kill yourself, or we're going to kill you. So we've now had an opportunity to uh, speak, or at least attempt to speak, to a number of protesters. Behind us, uh, there's a gathering of uh, organized labor, and they're talking about uh, the destruction of uh, the rights of organized labor under this new agreement what organized labor has suffered up until now under the prior bailouts. There's a really uh, an interesting mixture of people here. Uh, one group of people was very reluctant to talk to us. Those were uh, predominantly anarchists. Apparently they have a very low opinion of journalists as we discovered. Others were much more willing to speak out. Um, and together they're all bound up in one purpose and that is to put a stop to what they view as the, uh, the destruction of Greek society and uh, the strangulation of the Greek economy.